Sometimes the rules aren't set up for you to make it and you've got to get creative and sometimes things aren't fair. Um, and you got to figure out how to win anyway and create different opportunities for yourself. The world is small. How you treat people, how you treat clients uh, is super important in that they're going to be the referral source to validate you in the future. I made sure that every interaction that I had with people was the best that I could possibly make it. And it doesn't mean that I haven't fallen short, it just means that I want to fix it. It just means I want the next interaction to be better. And I found over the years that a lot of the deals or opportunities to invest in companies or things that I've done, a lot of that has come from referrals of people that have worked with me in the past. One of the things that you always want to do in terms of whether you're working a job or you're building a company is you want to leave things better off than you left them. And that's just good stewardship. That is something that was built in by my mom and dad, you know, with how do you take care of your room, right? How do you treat your uh, teachers, right? How do you treat your yard when you're doing yard work? I remember my dad in particular would cut the yard and he'd come inspect it. And he literally would look at me, point to a spot and say, do it again. And he would walk off, like literally, and, and I would have to cut the entire lawn again to fix that one spot. And he taught me how to be a good steward, do it right the first time the best you can, right? because you never know who's watching. I'm very fortunate in that people gave me opportunities and opened doors for me. And to have the ability to do that with other entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs of color, uh, women entrepreneurs, um, is something that I feel is part of my give back. Uh, so that's the investment part. And then the mentor part, I'm always available for a cup of coffee because so many people shared wisdom with me or when I was in a valley uh, in life, uh, encouraged me right, so that I can continue to pursue and push forward, and I'd be a hypocrite if I didn't return the favor. My story as an African-American in technology, uh, African-American leader, uh, having experienced over many years of my career being the only one in many rooms, we've focused on uh, diversity and inclusion as we've organically built WalkWest. Very proud of the diversity of our company. Just go to our website, just listen to our videos, and you'll see all different types of folks uh, in leadership, and that's just the surface level. There's a lot of talk about DNI. There's a lot of talk about diversity, and people nod their head that it's good, but they don't know what to do next. And so we've put together a team of people that have gone to very extensive training, are getting very significant certifications in this space, and we're building an online curriculum around DNI. We think we're uniquely qualified to do this because the same things that allow you to build a diverse and inclusive culture where people have the opportunity and the expectation to be included in the conversation are the same things you need when you're marketing and branding your company to get people to convert as clients. You have to know them, you have to get them to trust you, and you have to speak in a language that they understand. You have to speak in an authentic way. And that goes to somebody whose customer journey is choosing you to work for you or somebody that's choosing to buy from you. And so we think that those same kind of characteristics that we're learning about different personas are important to all the communication work we did.